Don't forget everybody, we're giving away $1,500 worth of Rejuvenator product and a pair of Reimagined YCMN 3s in your size. All you have to do is hit the link in the description, follow Rejuvenator on Instagram, and tag three friends on that post. Real easy stuff, we'll announce the winner in the first week of April. Good luck everybody. What's going on guys? Vic Almighty with another restoration project. Today we got these 1986 Air Force 2s. For being 37 years old, these are actually in great condition. The soles are still fully flexible, but they're not fully wearable. If you can hear the inside, crumbled air units. We're gonna have to open it up and replace it. So without further ado, let's get it started. First things first, we're gonna put this to the side for before and after purposes. The shoelace I'm gonna throw away in the trash just because they're not original. I can tell by the lace tip, the OGs did not have this. I'm gonna replace them with some Foxtrot laces later in this video. We're not gonna take care of the cleaning just yet, that comes later. First, we're gonna take off the stitching from the outsole so we can start the outsole removal. Stitching is off. Unfortunately for me, the glue on this shoe has swelled up really nicely over the last 37 years. There is some slight separation all around, but not enough. We're gonna have to use a flathead and a heat gun to get it in there and melt the glue and a soldering tool to finish the job. Got the upper removed, as you can see, the old air unit and polyurethane material is completely deteriorated. We gotta go in and replace that. But first, we gotta remove all this old stuff using these tools. Got all that old stuff removed, but we still have a lot of residue all around the sole. For this, we're gonna have to use a Dremel to Dremel it off. Usually for this step, I would use acetone, but it's not gonna do the trick. That's why we gotta use this tool. Got the sides fully cleaned up using the Dremel. We still gotta take care of the bottom part. For this, we'll be using a spatula and the heat gun. We're gonna heat it up and then using the spatula, we're gonna scrape it off. That looks a lot better. We still have to go in with some acetone and cotton balls to wipe off the remaining residue. Prep is complete on the soles, let's move on to the uppers. We have a lot of stuff that we gotta remove first. So for this, we'll be using some paint stripper. We'll apply it with a paintbrush, let it sit for a little bit. Then with the paint scraper, we're gonna remove most of this junk. Paint stripper did a good job. We got the majority of the stuff off. We're gonna remove the remaining stuff using some acetone and cotton balls. So far, so good. We gotta take care of the sides now. For this, we'll be using the Dremel.
as is right now, I couldn't re-glue them just because the uppers will sit too low. We cleaned out all the insides, so now it's time to replace it. For this, we're gonna be using some EVA foam. It's some good, comfortable stuff. It's one of many options that you can use. Simply what we're gonna do is go in, tape the inside, remove it, come over here, trace it out, then we'll install it onto the shoe, do some modifications, and see how it fits. Our new foam is nicely cut out. Next, we're gonna apply some glue onto this piece and the sole, let it cure for a few minutes. We'll go in, install it. After that, we're gonna have to do some modifications. Next, we gotta do some modifications with the Dremel. As you can see, with the upper sitting on the sole, it fits flush in this back area, but this front, it sits way too high. So what we're gonna have to do is remove a couple of centimeters from this foam area until it sits nice and flush. We did some sanding, the upper fits flush now. Now we're gonna go in, apply some glue to the soles and uppers, let it sit for a few hours. Once it's fully cured, we'll go in and stick it together. Glue's been applied, it's cured for several hours. Now we're gonna heat it up and bond it together. We're gonna start with the front, work our way to the back, do the sides, and then do the bottom. Glue drop is good to go. We let it sit for a solid hour. We got two pieces of thread. Real quick, using the sewing gall, I'm gonna create some new holes on this plastic piece. Stitching is complete, now we're on to the cleaning. Today we're gonna to be using our Rejuvenator Essential Shoe Cleaning Kit. This one should be really easy. It's really not that dirty, however, the shoe is really old. Our solution contains oils that's gonna help recondition the leather on this shoe. So we're gonna be using our Stop Bristle Brush to give the shoe a good deep clean, but first, we're gonna insert our shoe tree. Good to go with the soft bristle brush, we're gonna move on to the medium bristle brush to take care of the plastic areas. Uppers are good to go. I didn't take care of the tongues just because there's a lot of cracking going on with this material. I didn't want to make it worse. Now let's move on to the soles using the stair bristle brush. Cleaning is complete. We're gonna let this shoe air dry. The last step we gotta take care of is this insole. We'll just be using the medium bristle brush to give it a good clean.
Cleaning is complete, the shoe's fully dried, ready to go. I can already tell the leather's a lot softer just by using our solution and brush. I wanna talk about these tongues real quick. As you can see, there's a lot of cracking going on on this specific material. Originally, I was gonna go in and wipe it all off to keep it nice and clean, but there's this nice red design on the middle of the tongue. If I wipe it off, I feel like I'm gonna be wiping off too much of the design, so I'm gonna leave it as is. Plus, the shoelace is gonna cover it up anyway. Real quick, the next step, using our rejuvenator wipes, we're gonna wipe off some of the scuffs. On the swoosh, there's a big white mark. On these plastic eyelids, there's some scuffs going on. We're gonna try to wipe all that off. Next step, we're gonna reshape these toe boxes. As you can see, they're a little bit out of shape. We're gonna take out the shoe tree, then stuff it with some towels, give it a better overall shape. Then, with the wet towel, we're gonna place it over the top and simply iron it out with this little iron. Onto the back piece, as you can see on the end, there's a lot of scuffing going on. We gotta replace that paint using some off-white using a small angular brush. Now we're on to the laces. These shoes originally came with some laces that were not original. One way I know for sure is this lace has a LeBron James logo. I'm not gonna throw this away. It might come in handy for a future project. However, we do have these brand new Foxtrot laces. These are a lot closer match to these original 86 Air Force 2s. Let's lace them up. All right guys, that is gonna bring us to an end on this restoration on these 1986 Air Force Twos. I know just from a quick glance, the shoes look the same, but the purpose of this restoration was to make the shoe fully wearable again. To remind you guys, this is what the shoe sounded like. All crumbled, not wearable. If the owner was gonna wear these, his foot would just sink right in. But after some work, we took the sole and the upper fully apart, cleaned up the inside and replaced it with some nice, comfortable EVA foam. That stuff is good for years to come. It's not gonna crumble and it's really comfortable. Once we made the shoe fully wearable once again, we moved on to the uppers. We gave it a good deep clean using our Rejuvenator Central Shoe Cleaning Kit. The purpose of this cleaning was to rehydrate and recondition the leather of this shoe and also wipe off any grime and dirt that's been sitting on these shoes for years. The one thing I didn't do for this restoration is give the leather a full repaint. For it being 37 years old, the shoe is actually in really good condition. There's a lot of patina that I wanted to leave as is. If I was to repaint the entire white leather and make it look brand new, it simply wouldn't have that 1986 classic feel anymore. There's a couple elements that the Jordan 2 and the Jordan 3 pulled from the specific shoe. The first one being these eyelet pieces. So you can see that's from a classic Air Jordan 3. And on the back, this little spine piece is on the Jordan 2. Cool details that I noticed as I was cleaning the shoe. Overall, this shoe cleaned up nicely. The owner is going to be super stoked to wear these once again. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Vic Almighty. I'll catch you guys next Monday. See you guys.